Hey everybody, this is Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, a series devoted to feature introduction, step-by-step -step instruction, and tips on Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in this lesson we're going to look at Office 365 group interaction with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In our previous video we looked at how to set it up and configure it from an administrative standpoint. Today we're going to focus more on consuming it as an end user, talking a little bit about security and just some management capabilities that you can do from an office group's perspective. So let's take a look at how to go ahead and set this up for individual records within the application itself. In our last video we went in and installed the actual office group solution into our CRM instance through the office 365 portal and then we were able to go into settings and office 365 groups and add specific references for the account and contact entity. Now we'll go ahead and consume that from an end user perspective. So now I can go into my specific record that I want to work with. So in this case we'll go into accounts and we'll pick an account and we'll open that up. And now if I go to the related items area and I'll see an office for an option for Office 365 groups. Click on that. And this is where I will actually set it up. So the first time that you come in here, it'll prompt you kind of for the auto creation functionality. Down at the bottom where it says city power and light sample, this is the name that it's going to use to facilitate that office group in the application. Now, if for some reason, um, and as you can see, it just uses the name of the record. If for some reason it tries to create a, a record with the same name, you will get a duplicate ID option down here or telling you that it's not available. This name could be edited at any point. So I could change this to whatever name I wanted based upon my specific situation. But by default, it'll just create it for for you. However, if there is a duplicate name, it will let you know that underneath here, and then you can go ahead and supply an alternative name. Then you'll go ahead and hit Create Office 365 Group. It can take a little while for the groups to get created, but once it is created, it will then go ahead and shoot you an email and let you know that the group has been created. I could start a group conversation. which would be displayed within the application itself. Since there's a OneDrive directory uh, devoted to the city power and light, I now could go into a documents area. I could upload specific files into this particular area. Once the files have been uploaded, we have the capabilities to sync that information and it would now be visible through the CRM interface after a short refresh. Now remember, even though we're technically seeing this information through CRM, it's not a CRM function, so to speak. So if you do need to do any management or maintaining of any of these Office groups, you actually have to do that through your portal subscription. So if I go back into my Office 365 portal, I will see an option underneath here called Groups. And when I go into Groups, this will show me all of my groups that I have created because um, technically they're SharePoint groups. And so in here I can see all the groups for each individual record. If I double click on the group itself, this is where I could do some basic administration. I can add members, I can remove members, um, I can add administrators. Uh, this is where I could also go in if I wanted to and remove the group altogether. So this just gives you some functionality to go in and do some basic management and descriptions around this particular functionality. Since again, it's not a CRM specific specific feature. So that's set up in configuration of Office Groups to work with Microsoft CRM. As of the date that this video was published, it was currently still in preview, but I think you'll find that it's a very neat feature that will provide a lot of collaboration capabilities moving forward. Again, I just sincerely want to thank you very much for watching. My name is Derek Borman, and I hope to see you in another video very shortly. Thank you.